Here we are, in the box. Oh, Twinkle Toes, here he is. <laughs> like all good experienced hikers, I didn't clean my cup out two years ago when I stopped using it. So now the bottom is full of rust. Oh, it's raining now. Nice back. <laughs> Talking a little air talk. Shouldn't have taken that off my head. It's wet cold. Morning YouTube, it's Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, back out on Dartmoor once again. Who's <laughs> that over there? Morning YouTube. This is old Nerf. We're socially distancing. <laughs> do you think that's excessive or do you think that's alright? I don't know, I think it's about right. They said as long as you can struggle to hear the other person. Hey. So where are we going? Hey, we're going up there. We're going arms tour, dough tour, sharp tour, I think. Shop, yeah. Cat tour. There's a few tours we're going to do today. It's fairly typical that um, we've had all this lovely weather lately, and the day I decide to join you for a walk, <laughs> it's uh, overcast, yeah. cooler, I had threatening noticed. to rain. <laughs> I had noticed that night. <laughs> Go on, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in for an elbow rub. Here he is. Knife. Good to see him, isn't it? How's he get his hair cut? That's what I want to know. He cuts his hair. You've been alright, mate? Yeah, keeping alright, mate. How's the lockdown affected you? Well, I've quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, you know me, I like socially distancing. Socially distancing. Yeah, and uh, not touching people. Anyway, Nate, it's lovely to have you back. It's good to be back, mate. Let's go for a ramble, shall us? Let's go for a ramble. Pop a job. Good to have old Moby back as well. I forgot to say Moby's here as well. Good old boy. We've skirted around the underside of Brat Tour. We're going to finish on that one later. So at the moment we're going to go up up here, up to Arms Tour. Let's have a look up there, shall us? Here we are, in the box. Let's have a look here. I got me uh, Mendel's on today, so a bit more waterproof. Tough deer, tough deer. Oh. Careful, Mobes. You're sinking. Tough deer. We made it. Oh, twinkle toes, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> the debate is on for the traditional. We just went up a tour war cry. I don't know, do you feel like we've got a little bit older now? It's up to you if you want to do one. We do. Oh, I'm, you know, I mean, I was just putting the suggestion out there. Yeah, no, I'm up for it. Do one on the first and one on the last, shall we? Yeah, why not? Why not? Here we are, arms tour. Up there, it's great links on the hill. Ready? Yeah. Summit of nothing! Almost lost me act. <laughs> 5G, have we found the 5G? I also found a letterbox, I think. Is that what they call letterboxing or what's the other one? Geocaching? Geocaching. Might be geocaching down there. Arms tour. That's for going up to Great Links. I know it was only there the other week, but 
it is a great tour and uh, Nathan quite like to see it so I'm gonna pop up here oh, funny old train guess he's back kind of just gave up um, thinking about where I was going and just started following Moby and uh, yeah Moby's got the general idea I mean he's still going up his little doddery old legs ain't what they used to be well here we are coming up the great links what a tour isn't it here's one of my favorites can't say I've ever noticed this before when we've been up it I'd like to say that if we had noticed it before that I would have said something about it but it's a proper little looks like someone's almost hollowed it out as somewhere to stay when it's hacking it down with rain doesn't it it took some hollowing though granite it does look too rounded on the side yeah, but it, it almost looks... looks too perfect not to have been doesn't it really doesn't it don't know I mean, if it was hacking it down outside, this would actually be a pretty good place to stay dry, wouldn't it? It would, wouldn't it? And it is, like, with this rock in front of you, it's almost like a table. It just looks too... Convenient. Yeah, to be... Cook your dinner on there. What the f*** do I know? I'll tell you what I do know. Oh. I know my knees aren't going to stick this much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on, boy. Trev was just uh, telling me, obviously, uh, as the guide, that we've just passed a place called Dixwell. Obviously, my immediate response was, no, no, there's not a place on Dartmoor called Dixwell. It is, it's that little river that runs down there. Ridiculous. How did it get his name? I think it's his well. <laughs> Dixwell. Oh, Dixwell! <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was Dick Swell. <laughs> Thought like I just said it to sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe like some sort of guy who'd come across it and decided to name it had a bit of a chubby on. Ah, that's what happens when your guide wants to make a dick of you on camera. <laughs> so it just entered Wilsby Range. So if you do follow this walk, be sure to check out the firing times before you leave. We're okay today. We checked. Nice little tour, isn't it? Different. I like it. Chat tour. What's that one over there then? Oh, that's the Donegarts. This is right under Great Links. So I was the other week, and then over to their green tour, kitty tour in the background. The Bleak House ruins over there. See fur tour over there. Been there, haven't we? Been there, done that one. Yeah. And over this area, there's a great miss, great staple, Ruse tour, and then I think that's Cox tour on the end. We've pretty much done everything we can see from here, haven't we? I think we have, mate. Yeah. That's quite a lot we can see, isn't it? It is. Fast, isn't it? There's a lot of it in between we haven't done, but it looks a lot sort of big empty spaces didn't it? Yeah, it'd be just walking for the sake of walking wouldn't it? Mm. Chilly here isn't it? Time to get clean, isn't it? Yeah, spotting as well, thanks Nate. Spotting. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're leaving Chat Tour and now we're going over there. I think it's Sharp Tour. It's coming in a bit wetter. Look back over there now, Great Lynx is getting swallowed up by the cloud. I think it's only because we're in the cloud, it's wet. It's not rain at the minute. This is a nice it's like a castle, isn't it? Weird, isn't it? It is nice.
over there in a minute, it's hair tour. Down the other side, oh, down there. That looks like little hair tour. Gonna take that one in. Max suggested this again. And then we're gonna come back in around here, over to Doe Tour, and then over to Brat Tour. And that's the end. Nice little walk, nice little area. Lovely area. Look at the area on them. I'll climb this. Up the air tour. Site of my very first solo camp. Oh, it's raining now. Oh, it's hacking it down here by now. There we are. Air tour. Air tour. Air tour, oh, jet tour. Oh. There's a little air tour here somewhere, didn't you say? Yeah, a little air tour somewhere. Can't find it, isn't it? Is that that down there? A little air tour. Talking a little air tour, I've got a little air on the tour. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken that off my head, it's wet and cold. Like all good experienced hikers, I didn't clean my cup out two years ago when I stopped using it. So now the bottom of it's full of rust. This is a titanium mug, so it's not the mug that's rusting. It's the bottom of my gas cylinder. So, wow. What? Yeah, forgot about that. Anyway. So now I'm gonna to attempt to clean it with my conveniently packed Brillo pad. Now I'm a bit dubious about how hot that water is. Like me and Ben Sherman underpants. And I think when you're just going for a day hike, if weight's not an issue, the jet boil is far beneficial uh, over this because this is just taking forever. The jet boil would have been done ages ago, wouldn't it? Although this packs up small and lightweight and stuff, it's just like, yeah, I'm over it already. Give me some coffee. <laughs> It's actually well worth the effort. Yeah? Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah. That. Two metres distance in. The correct PPE. And uh, catch it, kill it, bin it. Mm. And stay alert. Uh, so you were saying your scarper boots have done you good, Nate. You've enjoyed them. Yeah, so basically anyone who's been watching that long might remember that when we went to the Brecon Beacon some years ago, my birdhouse boots that I'd been donated by my old man fell apart. Um, I ended up trying on these Scarpa boots. They're a size nine and a half. When it comes to hiking boots, you really gotta, I think you gotta try them on because you could pay 250 quid for a pair of boots, but ultimately if they don't suit your foot shape, foot shape, foot shape, foot shape, foot shape. <laughs> if they don't, don't suit, suit your feet. If they don't suit your foot shape, you're fucked. <laughs> but, um, they fitted well. Like the leather is so soft on them as well. It's really nice leather. Really Supple. light. Yeah, and I just, you know, I've all, I love them so much that I just wear them at stupid times, walking the dog on tarmac pavement unnecessarily, wearing the tread out on them because I love them so much. I'd pay over the odds to find another pair exactly like this. Mm. How are you getting on with boots? Today I'm out of me mind, mindle, mendle, mendles, mindles. I like saying it three times because <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. The first time I've worn them for a while, because it's been so dry, so I've been in my Solomon boots or my uh, Columbia Conspiracy out-dry trainers, which I love them. They're just so light on your foot, but yeah. the first time I've had a boot on, proper leather boot, and uh, yeah, they're heavy. You notice it when you haven't worn them for a while, but they're a good fit. They're nice and snug. They're nice and warm, they're more of a winter boot, but I thought it might be a bit wetter today, so... Uh, I'd meet, honestly, I'm sold on hiking trainers. I'd, I'd wear walking trainers all day long if I could. Yeah. I've got a little pair of OEX ones, same as your jacket, and they're, I love them. They're brilliant. Now them Solomon boots, they're like the trainer. They're sort of like a fabric. I wore them through when we went to Romania, through all that snow. And at the end of the walk, I was the only one with dry socks. Yeah, mental. So, yeah. And I thought I shouldn't have bought these. 
I should have bought me Mendel Mindel Mendels. Your Mendel Mindel Mendels? Just go, go and have a look down there. We've got changed our route a bit. We're going to go and take in this one down here, which I think, what did we say that was? Nat's Tor? And then we're going to go across to Jair Tor behind. Nat King Tor. Then it? over to Doe Tor. Then over to Black Tor. Then it's the car. Then it's home. These stunning views now, look at this, the Tavy Cleave. again you know it's stunning across the Tavy Cleave I'll have to go and have a walk up there again at some point here we go Nat tour then Nath what do you think of this different again isn't it it's quite unlike a lot of the other ones there's a lot of growth on the side of it, isn't there? That's yeah. what first stands out about it to me. And a lot of red in that granite as well. Yeah. You know, that might be a sort of mineral that the uh, the plant life's feeding off. Makes you wonder why everything's grown on this and not on the others like so much. So what's the Z in Jair and OBS? Jair Torn Obey. Some sort of settlement here. Can you see? This is either Jair Tour or Gare Tour. I think it's Jair. I always say Jair. So it must be, because you know I always pronounce everything right. Handsome, isn't it? What do you think of it? It's been all right, mate. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, I was going to camp here once, and this is like the only area, and it's like a wind tunnel, so I didn't. Have you been here before then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you wouldn't come out. Mm. Well, I camped on air tour. Camped, camped on, on air tour? Mm. Not jet tour. Air tour is a nice tour. It is, booty, isn't it? Was that your first solo camp, was it? It was, yeah, it scared me. Yeah? No, it's all right. I was. Quite, you know, manly about it all, you know. Did you knock one out? <laughs> I uh, shed a little tear. <laughs> So we're skirting around now under hair tour, aren't we, Nath? I think we're skirting around under hair tour. I told you. Just flitting around under the skirt of hair tour. <laughs> and now uh, we're going to make our way up to Little Hair Tour, which isn't on the OS map. It's been pointed out to me. Max again. So we're going to take that in, then over to Doe Tour, and then over to Black Tour. Must be green.
here we are now. Doe, a deer, a female deer tour. Nice little tour, isn't it? Camped here. I think it was around here I camped before. I remember I had a good view of that tour in the morning. I think I was there on that flat area there. Oh, what's that? Nice back! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful spot. Nice little pool down here. Should do some swimming there. Oh yeah. I bought my speedos. Have I? That's been dammed up in the tension, isn't it? Oh yeah. Looks like it. Mm. I don't know what that thing. But that looks like wiped me up for the last little of the day. Yeah. Still. Hey, they say you can pass Corona through farts. Do they? Yeah. So, do I need to be downwind? No. Break wind downwind. Go on, mate. That's the next thing they're putting on their signs. <laughs> An interesting climb up here. Up in the clitter now. I found the clitter. My missus yeah. said I'd never find it. Rat tour with Widgery Cross on the top. Beautiful tour. Enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been good, mate. It's been good to have you back out, Nath. Oh, that cold. shit, something. Filming my armpit. So, how was that, Nath? You alright? Yes, mate, yeah, it's been good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Seen yeah. some booze? Yeah, fortunately, the weather was just clear enough we could actually see as well. Like, you know, if it was any hazier, you might have been capping off some of the views, wouldn't it? Yeah. Handsome day, mate. Handsome day. Good old yarn we've had. Should we get up this tour? Yeah, let's do it. Mate. Give it one. <laughs> <laughs>